Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to create a Windows Communication Foundation WCF service and host it to IIS. What are the steps? First, we will create a simple calculator application. This will be our service. Second, we will create an IIS server on our Windows computer. Next, we will enable WCF services. Fourth, we will host the service to IIS. Fifth, we will create a client application. And sixth, we're going to run the client communicating to the server, the same calculator service what we have created in WCF. So let's get started. Let's create the simple calculator application as a WCF service. I'm going to use Visual Studio Community Edition 2022. So let's start. Mm, next, I'm going to create a new project. Mm, I will search here WCF. By default, WCF is not part of .NET. So you have to install WCF as an add-in. And we need to choose this option, WCF Service Application, a project for creating WCF Service Application that is hosted in IIS and we will hit next. I'm going to name it calculator service and I'm going to click on create. WCF by default creates a project where it gives us a simple application where we have an interface called iService1.cs and an implementation of that interface service1svc.cs. So let's go to the interface and add some methods. So I'm gonna right now delete all these methods what it has because I don't need this template. I'm gonna create my own methods there. So I am gonna remove all. So first step will be to write uh, operation contract and I'm going to create first simple add method. Okay. So double add Perfect. So I created a signature where the name of the signature is add and it returns double type. It accepts two variables n1 and n2 double type. Uh, so this is our add. Similarly, we're going to do for other, but let's work only with add first. So I will go to the implementation now and it has so many implementation. I don't need to worry about those implementation because since we don't want them. Okay, so I have iService one, I'm going to implement it now. So if I click here, I'm going to write public double and it takes n1 and 2 perfect my implementation is done mm. so what add does actually add does sum of n1 and n2 so whenever any service will call this calculator service the add method it will call it will pass two double values and the add method with sum the double values and return it back that's the implementation of it now similarly i wrote for subtract sub mul multiply and div all the four uh, methods for our app calculator application and in service one if you see this is the implementation of sub then mul and div once my service is ready the interface and implementation we will simply select this and click build so that we have built a successful solution here 
Next, we're going to create now an IIS server. So let's go and create our server. So we will go to the search bar and type turn windows feature on and off. On the box, you need to select internet information services and make sure you select all the option and hit OK. Once it's complete, you will see this window. Don't need to restart. And let's check if IIS is running by going to a browser and type local host. So you can see now internet information service IIS is running on this computer. Next, we're gonna go to our list and let's create the third enable WCF services. This is also very simple. We need to go to the option to the search bar and type turn windows feature on and off. This time we're gonna select .NET Framework 4.8. If you see here, you have two options, ASP.NET and WCF service. Make sure you select all the WCF service because WCF provides all different types of services and hit OK. Once it's complete, you will see this window. You can choose don't restart. And now we have completed step one, two and three. We have created our simple service. We have created an IIS server and we have enabled WCF services. Next, number four, we're going to host the service to IIS. So it's very simple. What we need to do, we need to go to our VS code and right click on the service. Once you right click, you will see an option called publish. We choose publish. It's going to ask where you want to publish. So we will choose here folder and hit next. We'll leave everything as default and click finish. So now our WCF service is ready for publish. I can choose here publish. Perfect. Publish succeeded. So let's see what actually has been done in publish. We click on the folder and you can see whenever a WCF service is published, there are three parts of it. One is the configuration web config file. One is the entry point, the service one and one is the DLL file calculator service dot DLL. So this is the all service. This is all your service. So let's do what? Let's select all of them. And what we're going to do, we're going to host it to IIS. For that purpose, we have to put this service inside the init pub folder. So whenever you create a IIS server on your C drive, the computer creates a folder called init pub. So we go to init pub and there is a www root. In www root, I am going to create a folder called calculator and I am going to paste the contents inside it. So what did we do? We just created a folder called calculator inside www root and paste all my publish folder. So when we publish our application, whatever content was there, we took all the content and put it inside www root. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to open the IIS. So I will write IIS. You can see Internet Information Service Manager. Mm, I'm going to select here sites, default sites. And if you can see calculator folder, it's very simple. We just need to right click and choose convert to application. Uh, we can just select here OK. And my service is running on IIS. Let's check if it is running or not. We'll right click, choose manage application and browse. Uh, we will choose service1.svc because this is the service. This option says that my service is ready and now running on IIS. 
So now let's create our fifth item, create a client application. So I'm going to go to Visual Studio Code. I will choose File, New, Project. Uh, I'm going to type here console and I'm going to choose console app.net framework and hit next. Mm, I'm going to name it client and click on create. So now I have a simple console app where I am having as client. So first step what I'm going to do here is to call the WCF service. So what I'm going to do in this my console app, I will hit on reference, right click, add service reference. Mm, we already know where is our service reference. So I'm going to go here and grab my service reference from the URL. Let's go to our program and on the address bar, we're going to paste, paste it and hit go. So do you see now our client has found the service and I will leave the name as service reference one and click OK. Perfect. So now I'm going to refer it service reference one dot service client. I will name it as client equal to new service reference one dot service client. So what this client is doing, the client is connecting to our calculator service, which is running on local host on the IIS. So this client will be using those four method, add, sub, mul, and div, what we have created. It will pass the variables from here and those service will be running on the server and provide us the result. To use them, I have already written a simple uh, menu driven code. So the code is very simple. We have a menu where we have five as exit and we have our calculator ready. So let's run uh, case one will do my add takes two number n one and two calls the add method through client pass the data case two calls sub pass the data case three and case four. So let's compile this and run this application. Okay, so I run the application now. So I can see a simple menu. So let me click one and it asks me to add a number. Let's say I enter 40. The second number I enter 50. So it should be 90. So notice now the sum is 90. So it took this two number, call that calculator service what we created there and then did the sum and provide us the result. Let's try with mul so 3 let's give number as 4 and second number as 6 so we know it will be 24 so notice it call the multiplication and run so this is a simple program where what we did first uh, we created a simple calculator application service in WCF then we created IIS server we enabled WCF service we hosted the service to IIS we created a client application and then finally we run the client communicating to the server calling our add, sub, mul and div methods. 